hanging sheet metal and figuring out body gaps with aftermarket parts. Talk about fun. If you could see my face, you would see I'm not smiling. What's going on guys? Met over here, Lethal Garage, and today we are back up at Nuts Bait Farm. <laughs> uh, no, we're up at Craig's house, and uh, as you guys know from the last video, we started hanging sheet metal, just getting ideas for fitment, so everything was gonna go together. And Heath has had a little bit of fun the last four or five days. Um, I think he's got what, maybe two days, three days working on the body lines, something like that. And as you guys know, we replaced the doors. We replaced, oh yeah, hey, doors are hung. I forgot to highlight that. We got the doors on the car. We'll start with that. Look at that. Working, functioning doors. Oh, we can lock it. No, down. See, unlock. So as you saw in the last video, we got the doors working and everything, so that's awesome. But in this, I brought the doors up so Heath can start working on getting the body lines all in place. And I'm glad that he's had a little bit of time into it because we've run into, actually I should say, Heath has run into quite a few issues. I believe Heath and Craig both hung the doors together. Did you have any other help? Was sure. it just, what? No, was it just you? No, I had help. Okay, so. They, uh, they work together to get the doors on. If you guys didn't know, second gen doors weigh a million and a half pounds. And then keep in mind, these doors don't even have a glass in them yet. I did add the dyno mat, but yeah, it is what it is. But getting the door gaps have been nothing but fun. And it's not just door gaps, but it's the fender gaps, it's the alignment. And we're finding that the OER panels, they're not perfect. And this is probably the biggest complaint you hear from people across the internet that do buy the OER panels is they're not perfect. They're not factory. They're not the exact same stamped molds that came from factory. And I understand why a lot of guys would rather replace their cars with original doors and fenders. But my fear was I would go buy new doors and new fenders, have a media blasted and then run into the same issue where they have tons of Bondo. So I'm taking the risk. I went OER. The panels look pretty good, but when it comes to actual lining up things, you can see the door gap here isn't exactly perfect. This one's a lot better than the other side. So you can see here, the gap looks pretty good from the bottom and then it kind of widens out and then it gets really narrow. So it's just things that you have to work through and get done in getting this all lined up and set up. But you can see, the gap on this back side of the door is actually pretty good. It widens up up here. I'm gonna get in here close. So you can see it kind of gets a little wide, but the gap all the way down, it kind of gets a little closer down at the bottom. But the bigger thing is the body lines. So the body lines actually line up pretty good. They're a smidge off here and there. There's still a lot of work to be done in regards to getting this thing dialed in, but it's looking pretty good. It looks like a car. Um, our biggest concern, and I'd love to get your guys' feedback, is the gaps on the bottom of the door. What have you guys run into or seen on your projects? But if we go to the trouble side, now I showed you the good side first. <laughs> so this back side door panel kind of comes up a bit off of the car. You can kind of see that gap. The gap itself isn't completely terrible, but it gets really close all the way down on this side. So the gap is about where you would want it here, but then down below the line, it's off. But the, the big troublesome spot on this OER panel, one, you can see the alignment up top, it's completely off. We'll have to get that either ground down or built up. We'll figure out which way we wanna go. The other, the other item is the transition here. And I'd love to see your guys' images. If you guys are willing, uh, info at lethalgarage.com. I'd love to see your A-pillar transition into your door. Does your door stick out away from it or does it line up perfect if you have a factory car? But as far as the gap on this front, so this front door gap to the fender is pretty off. Um, it's about three times larger than what you would want. And it's just gonna require a little bit of work. A lot of bit of work. It's it's big. Like I can put my finger in there, and that's that's a no-no. 
So this is some of the trouble that we're gonna have to work through and work on to get this car lined up. But as you can see, the body line is perfect. So we got the body line looking really good, or they call this the money shot. But as far as the gaps and stuff, we have to work pretty vigorously to get this thing lined up. So Heath, what, what, what are we gonna be doing? It'll be magic. It will be magic. Don't give away the secret. Oh, the secret magic sauce. <laughs> Heath is already having fun getting the uh, nose cone lined up in a place, but um, yeah, I, I'm not going to be doing videos showing you how to fix the gaps. That's not the intent of these videos, but just more so walking you through the issues that we're having. And then I'll show you the finished result and what we were able to do and how close we we're able to get it to is perfect as possible you know th this car is not going to be 100 percent perfect i don't have a three hundred thousand dollar budget to basically make every single gap perfect every which way and also i don't want to wait three years <laughs> some of you guys have a lot more time and patience than i do i'd like to get this car on the road sooner than later so we're going to pick and choose our battles here and we'll get things as good as we can with the budget that i'm working with in yeah. So Heath and I are debating nose cones. So the urethane one sits pretty good up top. The fiberglass one from Custom Works Performance, you can see we, we're gonna have to grind down the sides a little bit to suck in the nose. But, you know, they, they don't deliver these items like saying professional perfect fit. You do have to make it fit your application, but overall, it's gonna be some work. And then the other side is in regards to the front, there's a lot of panels here you have to adjust. And there's some things that you can get away with, but a lot of these edges in here are all gonna have to line up look clean. Um, keep in mind, having the bumperettes, it's gonna cover from basically here all the way around to here. But we still wanna try to get everything lined up as good as we can. And you can see here, this needs to be pulled in a little bit. And on the other side, yeah. You can see that corner is down just a bit. So we'll have to do a little bit of, not grinding, but adjusting of the holes and then the bolt locations. And again, all these just little transitions. There's a lot of them that we'll have to go through and make just perfect. And these are all the little things that we're talking about and all the little things that we have to adjust. Like same here, you can see this lower panel sticks out a bit. The other side is almost dead nuts perfect. So we have to get this to suck in just a hair. Um, some of these transitions aren't that smooth, but it's just getting it worked out, getting it dialed in, and yeah. Aren't you excited, Heath? Mm -hmm. So Heath is gonna help me with a lot of this, but a lot of this is also just gonna be me coming up and sanding away, because the more body work I do, the less money I have to pay. Oh, man. And for me, it's gonna be a learning experience. now. My dad was a body man and with this COVID stuff, I don't know how much he's going to be able to come up and help because one, my dad's 76, he's got a lot of pre-existing conditions and he's just trying to stay away from as many people as he can and I don't blame him for that because if my dad was to get this sickness, it, it would probably send him to his grave. So stay safe, dad, and everyone else stay safe. But overall, um, We'll be coming up and we'll be grinding on it. I think in the next video, I kind of hoped to be able to put some uh, filler in uh, this weekend, but I don't think that's gonna be the, the case. But I think next weekend when we come up or maybe even during the week, I don't know, we'll have to see what the schedules are like for everybody, but come in and start patching around aspects of the car and I actually can show you some of those spots that we're gonna start with and then work our way forward on the rest of the car. So in touching on what I was talking about for the rear, you can see some of the body work we're gonna have to do. So just getting right into it, you can see there's a little dent right here and definitely a warp and a divot here that we're gonna have to bondo in and make look good. And then on the bottom corner, there's a lot of messed up action there. So we'll have to fill that and see what we could do there. And then as far as the bumper, it's gonna be really hard to see, but you can kind of see that dent right there. You can see it dents in back here quite severely. And then, I don't know if you could see, you could see that high corner there, but this whole corner caves in. So we're gonna have to do some work there to get it looking good. As far as this side, there's one, you can see it right in the camera right there. There's one little dance, funny, cause the dust on the car kind of makes everything pop. 
um, but there's really only one big dent there I think there's one mark here in the body line you can kind of see it but outside of that the roof has a little bit of waviness to it we'll have to fill that in and we'll obviously feather fill quite a bit of the rest of the car as we work this bad boy down in but there you go that's where we're at obviously there's a lot of work to do around the gaps there's a lot of work to do in the body filling and stuff but it's not as bad as some of you guys out there have had to deal with where you're replacing full quarter panels and everything like that now we did replace the front fenders we did replace the front end we did replace the doors there's not much of this car that's original anymore but then again the doors that i had were original to the car and the fenders that I had, I question if they were original to the car as well. So there you have it. But that's where we're at. That's where we're going. There's a lot of work to do. Can't wait to share next steps. Probably next video is gonna be filler and all that kind of stuff, but um, I'm gonna learn how to do some body work. And uh, I kind of wish my dad was able to make it up here. Again, he was a body man back in the day. So kind of would have been cool, but with just all the stuff going on, I don't know how, how likely that's gonna be we'll see we'll see how comfortable my dad feels or you know what we could do I think just knowing that there's only a couple people up here at any time I don't think that's as big of a deal but it is what it is so that's what I got and until next time guys see you on the road